Hey everyone, Chris here and welcome back to Polyroom. So picking up pretty much where we left off last time, I think the house I was at is just a little back there. I was doing a little bit of grinding, trying to get some stone, got up to 344. It's actually pretty difficult to get a lot of stone in this game for whatever reason. As you can tell, I did a little bit more decorating here, just added some grass and some pebbles. And then I think last time we got this uh, room wheel, which, um, how about we swap out with that one there? And then we'll put that one in the front like that. Oh, wait, I did not attach it. My bad. Uh, was that the room wheel? I think so. Yeah, and then we got these jaunts and wheels, which we can put over here in the front. So, um, I think that should be a little bit better. I'm assuming the room wheel is just kind of the, the widest, maybe? Eh, it's kind of hard to tell. But either way, um, I think there's a power ore over there. So I thought we'd head for that, as I said last time. And try to collect it. I'm assuming, again, that's probably going to give us a good melee damage boost, which is very useful considering that's kind of our main thing. Oh my gosh, this thing's kind of out of control <laughs> when you're off the road here. Okay, let's just double check that this actually is a, a power ore. Yeah, ore of power. Okay, that should be pretty dang good. And there might be some sort of structure over there in the desert. It does really pay to kind of go sideways into this game. And not uh, kind of just stick to the road the whole time. Gosh, I keep forgetting to turn off the engine. Okay, let's check this out. Let me just make sure I have all my kind of stuff here. Let's have a quick drink of soda. I think this one's called Dr. Soda. Yep, that's pretty good. Got to make sure I have some snacks on the hot bar. And then kind of just sticking with uh, the kerosene for movement speed and sniper goggles for a little bit more range damage. And as usual, this should uh, spawn a couple zombies here and there. Actually quite a bit but uh luckily they're pretty slow and then as we've seen before kind of seems to ramp up as we go further along but yeah i'm really hoping this gives us a good chunk of uh melee damage i'm assuming probably obviously like 10 percent kind of seems to be the norm for all the other things gosh these people just drop kick you geez okay let me be a little bit wild here and use the uzi on it and maybe some of the zombies there only four more shots oh my goodness these guys are crazy quick Okay, that was like the fastest zombie yet. Man, they just get you like once and then you're almost dead. So yeah, I gotta be way more careful. That's pretty much all the Uzi ammo, unfortunately. I think I have a couple shotgun rounds here. Let's swap that out. And yep, there's all that. And man, if only I had like that sniper rifle or maybe the AFK. Because I have so much of that rifle ammo. Okay, I do have to be way more careful now because that was the last of my food for healing. Although, hold on. Let me, let me be smart about this. I have this guy here. How about I spawn him and, you know, buy food? <laughs> yeah, that makes the most sense. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. What happened to him? Oh, I think the ore of power kind of prevents it from staying too long. Okay, let's just get, like, some carrots. I'm assuming those don't do a whole lot. Yeah, 10% health, but, um... I mean, I'll kind of take it at this point, especially because we have a lot of wood. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Should hopefully get us through this fight. And then we'll go ahead and compress him. Oh, his name's Ethan. Or Eat Han. Hmm. Okay. Back to mining, and there's just a zombie over there. Looking at our car. He's really debating about stealing it. I mean, it's a nice car. What can I say? I mean, it's like half broken, but you know. Okay, pretty close to the end here. Wait, did it go from like 6% to 7? I swear I just saw that go up a little. Oh, that'd be kind of horrible if they were to kind of heal. Oh, now that should have been 0% right there. <laughs> Hold on, let's take care of these guys because, gosh, they're so quick sometimes. Hey, I was blocking there. That should have done like no damage. Okay, but I think that's the last hit there. And what does that say? Oh my god. Gosh, I did not realize there was an army zombie behind me. <laughs> Jeez, that got me so off guard. Okay, okay, let's have some carrots. We're like a, a rabbit right now. Just eating carrots this whole time. And let's grab that. Is it spinach? Oh, that's pretty funny. It's like a reference to Popeye. But dang, 15% melee damage. Ooh, that's going to be really good. So that should put us probably closer to maybe 70, almost 80 damage per second. Okay, not bad at all. And then again, I think there's something maybe over there. It kind of looks like a little oasis, so let's head there. Uh, still doing okay-ish on gas, about 12%. I don't remember if I got any 
extra last time. So, you know, always got to be on the lookout for that. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a pirate ship wreck over here. I don't know how they got this far inland, but uh, I'm not going to question the game logic too much. Oh, gosh, I didn't turn the car off again. Uh, please don't hurt me or my car. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That was a little close for comfort there. Uh, let me just eat my carrot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Should have got a, maybe a better food because these take quite a while to heal you up. And uh, a little hard to tell how much stronger the axe is, but I wonder if we could stack some of those things. You know, get like two or three of those. And oh, we got a big guy here. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky and kind of find one of those rivals because I just have so much ammo. Okay, another fire axe there. That'd be kind of cool if there was um, different rarities of it, you know? Like maybe one does like 100 damage or something. That'd be kind of crazy. Okay, luckily this guy's pretty dang slow, but I'm kind of worried it might be like a one-hit kill type of thing, you know? Oh my gosh, that guy actually like leaped here. Yeah, it seems like maybe two hits for most of these. I don't know if the armor actually affects them. Have a quick drink of soda. Don't mind me. Just getting my health up and everything. Make sure my stats are A-OK. -okay. I, I know that's supposed to be like guts of a bug, but it kind of seems more like a, like a hamburger inside there. Space? Nope. Oh, that came from like space. Maybe that landed here and took out all the pirates. Okay, let's give him a good bonk or two. I don't think I've actually taken out any of these big guys with a melee weapon quiet. I'm just worried he's going to grab me and annihilate me. <laughs> oh, that was like only a couple hits. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay, now we can actually look around. Check out the, the pirate ship over here. Anything good? I, I would definitely take like a cannon or something. That'd be kind of funny. Climb these rocks. Anything over here? What about the captain's quarter, huh? I don't think it gets actually explored. I'm like giant compared to that door <laughs> okay not too much there i think it's obviously meant more just as a kind of decoration so bucket of oil not too useful oh, oh oh okay i thought it was a different rifle hey i think that is a different um shotgun yeah so pumpy's 134 and this one's big d at 192 Okay, let's put that soda away and let's put that in number two. Because that's going to be pretty dang powerful. Maybe we could like one shot most zombies. Oh, they should save that for like a boss or something. I don't know why I'm trying to look around the rocks. I should uh, actually be harvesting them. Oh, I don't think I could get these. Yeah, it's not doing little particle effects. Okay, large coolant with 100% water. I mean, if ours is a little bit smaller, I wouldn't maybe mind uh, switching that out. And oh, hold on. I'm actually up to 2,194 stone. Okay, so that ore of power, I think, gave me a ton of stone. Okay, so if we really wanted to, I think we could spawn um, one of the bosses in this area. Also, I don't know what happened to my trunk. I don't know if it fell off, but when I reloaded, it was just completely gone here. But uh, let's go ahead and check out that cool and see if it's a... A little bit bigger, right? Because this one's like a medium one. Yeah, medium versus large. So the large holds a little bit more water. Now let's just go ahead and go with that. Maybe it performs a little bit better for the V8. And everything else seems to be pretty good, actually. Okay, not too bad of a haul. We'll go ahead and just drop that. I don't really think I need too many spares. And how about we put our little alien friend over here? We'll put him uh, right on the sink. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I, I just love that you can just throw literally everything on here. I bet you some people are going to make a giant tower or like space bridge, essentially. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Really happy about the, the power or that thing is a big, big boost. Now I'm kind of curious about the ore of life. Gosh, what happened to this traction? Oh, you know what? Maybe that rear tire. Obviously, it's like a drag tire. So that's probably um, making this really, really slippy. On the sand. I think that makes quite a bit of sense here. But yeah, it'd be kind of cool to maybe check out one of those uh, ores of life. That'd be probably pretty dang good. I uh, just... I don't have enough space for too many more things. You know, I'm kind of already keeping the range. Uh, melee damage and kind of speed boost here. But you know what? Um, obviously, the next arrow is just to the next uh, biome. So how about we do a little bit of off-roading? I mean, it's kind of in this gentle direction. And it seems if you go for far enough off-road, it kind of tells you where the road is. Let's see. Ooh, what are you? What are you? 
I think that's uh, one of the ranged ones here. Gosh. Or precision. Yep, that's the, the goggles. I mean, I wouldn't mind just having all four oars. And yeah, as you can see up there, it tells us we're about a kilometer away from the main road, which is pretty dang useful to make sure you don't get too lost. Gosh, this thing has just no traction on this uh, sand here. But yeah, not really seeing too much out here. I mean, I guess it would make sense. Most stuff just kind of spawns next to the main road. Also trying to keep an eye out for uh, special zombies. Ooh, okay. I think there's a green thing over there. That might have been speed, though. Let's see. Gosh, the suspension is just shot on this thing. Every time I land, I spin out. Okay, what are you? Or of life. I mean, we're kind of here. Might as well. And it'll give us a good chunk of resources, you know? There And gosh, I'm at 5% um, gas. I did not pay attention to that. <laughs> oh, okay. That might be a... Might be a bad. Might have to use this mixed one very soon. Okay, well, let's get Hot Dog Man, get some food, and then take out the Ore of Life there. Okay, got some Jello and some carrots. I just realized that Jello has, um, I think it's a stapler inside. <laughs> I could have sworn it was, um, like a piece of meat or something. Okay, that's kind of funny. I wasn't really paying attention to the percentage of damage we did earlier. And yeah, still like two or three hits for some of the zombies. Three for him. And three for these guys. They do seem a little bit stronger than the zombies from the other biome. And let's go ahead and try out the shotgun or big D as it's called. Ooh, that was like 10% damage right there. Okay, that's pretty dang powerful. Have we seen this football guy? I don't think so. Let's do like... I mean, I'm just going to do all the shots on it. <laughs> okay, and then we'll use maybe one for the horde of zombies. I don't know if it hit more than once. People were asking that in the comments. I mean, it seemed like maybe it did. I mean, it has some bullet spread, so... Should test that a little bit more. Alright, pretty close to the end here. You're just like... Two more hits, and hey, no zombies really spawned there. Is that like a pack of donuts? I think it is. Life extender. Okay, let's see the benefits of that. Dang, 20% more health. That's actually... Pretty dang big. Again, kind of having that and all the other things really only leaves us with one slot here. So yeah, we can have 120% health. I don't know if that's the best use of our space here. So, you know, might have to switch it out depending on the situation. But, um, I mean, kind of right now it works out because we only have uh, the fire axe. We're kind of, kind of out of ammo. Oh! Gosh, that scared the crud out of me, but, uh, Oh, apparently, you could just ram trees to, to harvest them. Okay, that's kind of not too bad. I'm assuming it probably damages the car, right? Well, let's give this a little, little good burst of speed here. Oh, I think it took out one of my tires. Yeah, it's right there on the side. Hold on. Okay, that's not what you want to see. Okay, definitely uh, don't ram into trees. Who would have thought, right? Okay, let's put that back on. Yeah, I thought I was being big right here and found a, found a way to mine trees a lot easier. And yeah, we definitely gotta get back to the road and find some gas. Because we're down to 5%. I mean, probably by the time I get to the road, I'm gonna be out. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all the ores in the game. Unless we wanna try, you know, kind of stacking them. Oh! That was a brutal hit on that bush. My hood is just flying over here. I think maybe even my engine popped out. Oh, and I gotta pick up all the individual items. Okay. That was a dumb goof on my part. That actually scared the crud out of me so bad. Oh my gosh, it literally dislodged everything there. But yeah, actually the road wasn't all that far from us. Now we're down to 1% gas again. That's going to run out in just a couple moments here. I am keeping an eye out because I did see in the main menu when I loaded in what seemed to be a giant spider. And it seemed to be in the desert biome, so maybe that's kind of unique to this area. I'm assuming it's probably like the, the berry boss or whatever. It's like a mini boss type thing. And yep, there goes our gas. And gosh, we didn't even get to coast it for a bit. We just completely got out of control. Let's grab this one. It has gas, oil, and water. Hopefully that's not too detrimental. Because it seemed like other times, uh, it kind of just like burned off. And left the oil and water, which we could kind of drain later. Yeah, let's see if she starts up. We good? Yeah, it's pretty lenient. It's not like the long drive where more than like 4% of something in there will totally kill the engine. 
Okay, that's up to 15% gas, but, uh... I don't know if that's actually true, because even the, the jerry can was like 62% gas. So it might be counting the oil and water, so gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, thank goodness. We have another little location here. Kind of seems like where we saw that, um, what's that, like, little Trabant car? Okay, got the 2-2 two, two Princess Zombie, which is incredibly quick. That's actually terrifying. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, okay. Likely we're, like, ever so slightly out of range for it to hit us. I mean, we do have a good uh, chunk of power-ups on us. And unfortunately, it's still night, so it's a little hard to see. But apparently, you could, um, when you go to your house, you can just pick up the whole thing, take it with you, and kind of sleep wherever to sort of pass the night. Uh, I guess I'll switch the donuts just so we have our flashlight out. Are there really no zombies here? And hey, apparently I could even compress this entire building. Hold on, small shanty. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's even like some uh, dog bowls out here. Hold on, let's just test this out. So X to compress should probably get out of the way. And yeah, I'm really just about to pick up a whole building. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. Even took longer to deflate than other things. Yep, just carrying a whole building in my pocket. I think this might be a door for our car. Yeah, Johnson R door. A right door engine. Don't need too much of that. A little wheel there. And then a Johnson, I think, left door. Or wait. Yeah, left door, I think. Uh, we'll double check on that in a bit. I think I saw something. Yeah, what are you? What did I pick up? Oh, a sandwich. Okay, not bad. 25% health. Nice little chair. Actually, that might be kind of funny to put on our car here. I mean, I'm not going to take, obviously, every building. Oh, this would be a nice little car. I'm really tempted one of these times to get this. I mean, this one's, like, actually really complete. I mean, to be fair, though, there's nothing saying I can't just compress it and take it with me. Yeah. Okay, maybe I could start a little car collection at the house. So that one's called the Carla. And hey, that has some gas, actually. Okay, hold on. Um, Let me respawn that and maybe siphon the gas out. I think that's kind of the, the smart thing to do here. Okay, let's get that lawn chair. Uh, we'll just stick that somewhere up here. Oh, maybe I should get rid of the sink. And then uh, put the little bug on it. I think that'd be a little bit funnier. Let's grab that. Swap that out. It's, you know, it's just taking a ride with us. Oh gosh, I'm like stomping the crud out of the car. Yeah, there we go. We got the alien sitting on the chair. And we got the zombie head on the front. Okay, well, I guess we'll get rid of the kitchen sink there. And then I think we're pretty much good to go. I think I can honestly get rid of this engine and uh, battery. Just to have a little bit more storage there. And then maybe I could put the blueprint. Kilometers traveled. And I'm almost tempted to get rid, rid of some of this ammo. But I uh, just we just have so much of it. Okay, I'll get rid of that shotgun, unfortunately. Do a little organizing there. And then I think we could also get rid of that that tire. It's, I think it's called the Grandpa Wheel. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And let's just double check some of these guys. Maybe we could buy some ammo, obviously, and see about the bosses. Is this guy drunk? He's like falling over on himself. Oh, but Forest Rare isn't even here. That's still in the forest. Ah, okay. I was, I was thinking of buying him. But that's for a completely different biome, so it might not be worth it. I would get ammo, but ah, it's just so hard to get rocks in the game. If it was wood, that wouldn't be too bad. And yeah, let's do like one just to have a couple shots, you know? Yeah, let's do two. Why not? Okay, let's compress him. Uh, not too much repairs that we need to do. And then I think we're okay on food. So yeah, no real point in getting these guys out, actually. Okay, but that's doing pretty dang good. I think a lot better about that. I uh, just need to find maybe more uh, even tires so this thing doesn't spin out too much. Uh, there's a fire axe there, but again, not too useful right now. I didn't even check the fire axe at the other stop we did. But hey, we're up to 32% gas. That's like a new record for us. I think the highest we've been is around like the 20% mark, even from the beginning. Well, but I guess we're just kind of back on the road for now. Oh, there's another power ore over there. Again, kind of tempted to maybe stack some of those, but we already did two of those today, so we'll kind of skip that. And again, I would, would have loved to get a little biome boss or something. But, um... The one the guy is selling is obviously the forest, and, well, this is clearly the desert. <laughs> so no use in getting that right here. 
unless the next biomes are forest and we just kind of go back a little spawn in and check it out but uh yeah might just have to drive to the end of the biome here okay so last building area before the next biome only eight kilometers away um i think i just saw something really really cool here yeah look at this so what is this i wish it would tell me but it definitely has a v8 a large or medium uh coolant thing there Ooh, 10 slots. That's not too bad. Already has some soda. I do like that it actually shows you kind of what's in the trunk. Okay, but that's definitely missing a couple couple wheels and whatnot. How's the gas? Where is the gas, actually? Over here. 22% gas, 78% oil. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's not that great. Okay, well, I mean, we'll go ahead and compress it. So now we have uh, two cars for our collection at home. Let's just see if we can find a little bit of gas here and kind of book it to the next biome because we're so close. Hey, 10 liters right there. I'm going to get rid of that one shotgun shell then. And hey, I think I might have found some doors and stuff for that car. What's it called? Is it called the Vroom? It looks like a Vroom to me. Oh, that's called the Carl and the Carla. And then our car, I think, is the Johnson. Um, I mean, I don't want to lose these Alright, so we'll just kind of slap that on. Not that it even really sort of fits, I think. I don't think it's actually even letting me put the, the door on. Uh, okay, never mind. I guess we'll leave those, unfortunately. Vroom trunk. Well, I mean, I guess the trunk will attach. Why will that not put a right door? Okay, they would have to replace this door right there. But yeah, that one wouldn't be a bad contender either, just because of the trunk space. But I don't know. Maybe once we get home, we could kind of unload some stuff. I wonder if there's some sort of a storage system, like some crates or some of the cabinets. Because as far as I've seen, the only place you can put stuff is in the trunk. Okay, starting to see some new trees. I think it's going to be the winter biome for sure. Yeah, slowly going to kind of transition and turn really cold. I wonder if the cold's going to affect us. I mean, it didn't seem like the, the heat did too much to us. Gosh, uh, please get in control of the car. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, it's cold here. Warm up your car or use a heater if necessary. Oh, that's a new mechanic. Oh, dang. Okay, so I got to use like a heater or something. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, it would have been interesting if it also told us for, you know, the desert biome, you know, we had to drink more water and stuff like that. It didn't seem like it, as far as I can tell. You know, it's like maybe you had to go in your car and run the AC or something. Okay, but here we are. Home sweet home. And, uh, I was kind of honestly hoping to have seen, uh, another gas can here. <laughs> okay, but there's another little treasure chest. I just got a offload some stuff here okay let's get this out again a little little shanty or whatever it's called oh that's funny it even like does a little pumping up sound i mean it looks pretty bad not gonna lie but uh it'll do the job here and we do actually have some tires back there which we could maybe slap on one of the the other cars okay but this is a good opportunity to do a little bit of a organizing let's throw that in there same thing with Carla. Carl and Carla. Got all that. And then, again, uh, just so much ammo. Because if we do find that gun, I do, I do not want to miss out on being able to use it. Okay, I think that's about as clear as I'm going to get this, at least for now. Uh, that jerry can is just kind of good to have in case we have to, like, drain something. Okay, let's see what's in the chest this time. So, fire axe, which we already have. We'll just kind of drop it on the ground. Some jello, which is pretty dang good. And a couple decorations. So wheat patch and then um it's like a little axe. Okay, we'll kind of just place that there. You know, do a little decor. We got this uh anchor, which I think kind of fits the, the little shanty there. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. And uh we'll just toss this fire axe kind of over here. It's kind of nice that stuff doesn't seem to despawn here, so that's pretty good. And yeah, I was really hoping for a a jerry can or something else full of gas but i guess not and apparently we could kind of sleep on the bed here in the game yeah e to hit the sack oh and there's a flat crate we could do storage there okay hold on 
Well, I mean, why not take both of those things? That seems kind of the smartest thing to do. And hey, we got a little, little fireplace. Oh, that'd be kind of nice if I could take the fireplace. Hmm. Hold on. Let's see what happens if I can press the whole house as is. Let's put that there. And then we'll head to the back. Click the button. And I'm just kind of curious about all the stuff inside it. Oh, so it's going to shrink almost everything. Just not the, the urinal. That plays that right there. Sure. And it falls over. Okay, because people did say you could take the whole house with you and... I think that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of pretty much always have that on us. And let's get uh, Barry out to kind of track him. And then I guess we just have to hold on to Mrs. Forrest. I don't know if that's for the winter. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. Okay, but now at least at night we could actually go to sleep. Gosh, I just need so much more storage. I mean, there's a chest in there which we could use. Should have probably put all the ammo there first, but uh, a little late for that. Okay, let's get rid of the sniper goggles for now and keep Mrs. Forrest there. And then let's check a little bit of the this new winter biome. I think I got everything necessary there. Oh, it is tracking it. Okay, it says it's like 35 kilometers away. Ooh, that's going to be pretty exciting. Kind of terrifying. But should be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not seeing anything about Mrs. Forest or whatever. So um, I'm assuming that's not... Obviously in this biome. I mean, it's technically a forest, right? Just, you know, a winter one. Okay, and I'm assuming there's also probably some unique items in this biome. Because the last one had cactus juice. So maybe there's some sort of um, berries or something else. I'm seeing lots of bushes. Yeah, let's take, a, let's take a little bit of look around. We have a little bit of gas, 16%. Not a whole lot, honestly. But uh, yeah, I think enough to... Do a little bit of exploring. Let's grab that. Might just be wood, honestly. Yeah, it kind of seems just like wood. And then, yeah, that's just a smaller version of that. Okay, how about we check out um, Earl? I think that's, or Jimbo. Yeah, Jimbo. Okay, no new items in this biome quite yet. And then we're back to the Shape Boss. Shape Boss tracks Dr. Morphe. That doesn't seem too unreasonable. We just need uh, like 130, 170 more materials of each. Okay, I think we could do that. Because uh, I think Barry is going to be kind of far right now. So let's just do a bit of gathering in this area and try to take on that shape boss. Plus, we're kind of close to home. So if we die and like respawn, it's not too big of a deal. Oh gosh, there's birds above us. I wonder if I can shoot him with the shotgun. Kind of curious, honestly. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Oh, it just blew up. It was like a, it was like dynamite. Did that drop anything? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, it was worth a shot. All right. I think this might be the last rock here. It's just kind of hard to get rocks more than anything. Because as you can see, it kind of launches them everywhere. Let's grab those. We good? Yeah. 2,000 and 2,000. And then it is turning night, so uh, let's put away Barry. And then we'll grab the house from the the car and take a quick nap, see how that works out. Honestly, one of my favorite mechanics of the game. Okay, that seems actually kind of bigger than usual. It's on a slant, but I'm sure it's fine. Let's turn that heater on. And hey, my character is actually kind of heating up there. That's pretty dang cool. And then, you know, for the boss, I'm assuming I want the spinach ranged and honestly i think the movement speed might be more helpful than the extra health but gosh i need to have like a recovery item so i think we'll have the jello kind of right out there and mostly focus on using the shotgun we have tons of ammo and speaking of ammo let's actually put away a little bit of stuff here for right now and that should be good and i guess we just go to sleep oh that's cool and there's something about the state of losing stuff here okay let's go to sleep till dawn i didn't really fully read that but uh yeah here we are in the next morning okay that's pretty cool just gotta compress that let's uh get Jimbo yeah that's not Jimbo that's Earl I think there we go let's get him maybe I should turn the fireplace off watch it light the car on fire at least it'll be a good heater let's talk to him and gosh here we go right shape boss 
Oh, we got to track that too. Oh, it's like an alien UFO thing. Okay. I thought that was going to be something really close here and we just spawn it and fight it. Okay, but I guess it makes sense that's a tracker. So we're going to have to follow kind of both of them or maybe it's one or the other. I mean, they're both kind of in the same spot. It's like 30 kilometers that way. Okay, so well, either way, we got to do a bit of driving here. Ooh, but I am kind of curious what the buildings are going to look like in this biome. Everyone's a little bit unique, you know? But gosh, that was pretty much all our resources, but uh... I guess we could always just do a little bit more mining or take out another ore. Because those give us some good, good resources, like a thousand each. Gosh, actually visibility's kind of so bad, I'm maybe worried I might skip over some of the places here. Because, yeah, you cannot see all that far ahead or to the side. Plus, there's like trees blocking everything. And uh, kind of once again, we're in desperate need of gas. We're down 8%. And I think it'd be kind of bad to have to pick everything up from the, the trunk here, you know? Okay, I think there's like a big zombie there. But come on, buildings. We've already gone like, what, 7 kilometers maybe? Oh, yeah, see, I almost skipped over this little like house here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Even has like a fence and everything. And hey, it's like a pool party going on. Oh, gosh. Now turn off the car. Always forget to do that. Okay, let's swap that out because I had no weapons on me there. Take care of them. And they don't seem actually all that different from the other biomes, at least. At least not yet. Gosh, we launched that one under the car. Barbecue grill. Oh, that'd be so cool if I could turn it on. Hold on. That sounds kind of cool to put on the car. Uh, more of that ammo, which we can't use quite yet. Come on, gas. Hey, 13 liters. Not bad. What do we got in here? Gosh, this place is a mess, but hey, hold on. I think we just found a solution to most of our troubles here. Oh, I think so. Yeah, okay, we got tons of ammo for this gun now. Okay, that might, that might be the best thing we've found so far. Oh, this is so cool. And gosh, we're finding even more ammo. Come on, get out of the way table. Oh, garage bench. Gosh, but my inventory is already full. Hold on. Jeez, we're just finding too much good stuff here. And uh, I think in this situation, I should probably put away all the other guns and kind of just take ammo for that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, my guy just threw up because I uh, gave him the gas on accident. Clicked the wrong button there. Oh gosh, that was kind of gross. He even threw out a whole carrot. Which is kind of funny because we actually ate that. Hold on, do I get to keep that? Oh, I don't know how I feel about <laughs> that. Uh, let's put that on the side there. We don't really need that thrown up carrot. But man, look at that inventory. We're just going to go to town on these zombies, actually. Yeah, sure, we'll put another 30 rounds there. Uh, that still only gives us kind of like one slot. I, mean, I guess I could always spawn the house again and kind of put stuff there. But yeah, 240 rounds on this. That's absolutely wild. Okay, that's all rubbish there. Compost, not too useful. Hey, I like that little tractor or cart. Oh, it's even got a little garage. Okay, antenna, I think, and another little coffee table. Oh, and hold on, we can get the hobo heater here. Okay, I was going to get the, the grill, but uh, we could actually turn on the hobo heater. So I think that's kind of the better choice here. We can just kind of always have that on the car. Uh, sure, that'll go there. Totally won't light the grass on fire. But hey, that's a car if I've ever seen one. One of the cars of all time, yeah. And yeah, about 26 kilometers to either the bear or the shapeshifter. I think the bear is actually a little bit closer. 25 versus 26. Again, they seem like they're going to be in very similar locations. So it might be like one fight right after the other. Oh gosh, crashed into the electricity pole. This thing is just so wild to do any sort of uh, turning. Okay, what happened to that wheel? Okay, got a little worried there. All right, let's place that there. That over there. And I think it was a good time to kind of check up on the car because I think it was saying it was kind of low on oil, which I feel like we went through surprisingly quick. I mean, we kind of did a uh, bucket from the last one over here. Yep, 4.2, so it could definitely use a little bit of water. Gonna have to resupply these at some some town because yeah, this water is empty now. And I don't really have any more on me, but I feel like you wouldn't expect to go through a lot of that in a winter biome. 
Okay, and just because I'm curious, let's uh, let's try out this uh, what is this even called? The Steve. Okay, 116 damage per second, so not a whole lot, but it is way more accurate than that like Uzi. Okay, that's pretty dang good. All right, how about we leave this one there? So at least we now have a goal. So 23 kilometers more, we're fighting some sort of boss or bosses. Actually, we got two of them to fight. But um, based off the amount of ammo and weapons we have, I think we're well prepared. We even got food and everything. The, the main concern is probably just getting there and making sure the car doesn't run out of gas or something. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.